Today, I built a mansion in the shape of an olive. And that's really all the information you need to know. Before we get into the video, there's a little red subscribe button down below, which, I will say it time and time again, is super fun to click. Just go ahead and give it a little press. It's free, it's fun, and you can always unsubscribe later. Getting right into the video, I realize I have no idea how to make a video about me building something. So, that was a fun way to start my editing process. I just put everything on high speed zoom, and uh, it went fast. And I'm here now talking because then I thought to myself, well, okay, I now have high speed zoom. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to bore people to be like, hey, you want to watch this uh, video of um, speedily crafting an olive mansion? There's got to be something to it. And I didn't think music for however long this video is going to be was going to cut it. So I am here now speaking to you, whoever is listening, and I don't know what I'm going to speak about. Should I tell you what I'm doing? Um, I'm currently making the exterior of the olive, which, let me tell you, was a pain. Because I realize circles. Circles, why do they exist? Well, no. Circles are good. When you try to make a circle out of squares, that's when the pain begins. And maybe there are some people out there who are super good at making circles out of squares. I am not one of those people. I contemplated for a long time. A very long time. How do I circular square? Uh, mm, circular square. How do I circle a square? How do I make a square? No. How do I make a circle out of squares? There we go. We were getting further away, but we got there eventually. Anyway, as you can see now, I'm still technically working on the exterior and technically the interior because I'm boxing it up, closing it off, protecting it from the elements. Um. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting video. This is going to be interesting, because this is literally just, um... This is literally just me watching my own video in speed and talking about it. So, I feel like a viewer right now. This... This probably is a very strange video. I hope whoever is watching enjoys my rambles. I am actually very tired right now, so... Whatever I say, I'm going to chalk up to, I was tired. And it's probably not the fault of me being tired. I'm just being strange. Uh, okay. Still working on the exterior. So, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, oh, I know what to say about it. <clears throat> Never mind, we're now working on the interior. Okay. <laughs> well, now that we're on to the interior, um, I decided that... Wow, green is nice for the outside, but I don't really want green on the inside. Uh, at least not a whole bunch of green. Like a green carpet? I mean, well, if I walked into a house and someone had a green carpet, I'd kind of be wondering, okay, is this the right choice? I mean, it depends on the house. I don't think I've ever been in a house with a green carpet. Hmm, I'm going to think about that for a few days now. Or just a few seconds. Anyways. I wanted it to not be green on the inside. I actually got um, the idea. I thought, okay, I'm gonna make it look all olivey on the outside, you know, nice and green. Um, but on the inside, I want it to look modern and sleek. So I got quartz and, yep, looking pretty nice. As you can see, the inside actually looks really cool. Currently, I am once again working on the outside. Because, you know, olives, they've got the little olive opening section. And I. That's what I was trying to make. I don't know what it's called. Is there... Are there words for olive anatomy? I've never thought this deeply about olives, to be honest. Um, hmm. I'm not gonna keep thinking deeply about olives. I'm just gonna call it the olive thing. Currently, I'm actually underneath the olive. Why? Because I don't like doing interior things, so I busied myself for a very long time with doing super, super unnecessary exterior things. Also, there's a dude with llamas, he seems to follow me everywhere, and um, you'll see later that he was super annoying. He was super- yeah, you're about to see it, just wait for it. Wait, I'm placing water, I'm placing water, 
And the man just wanted to trade with me. The man just wanted to trade with me, and I was just trying to place water. Very annoying. Don't actually know what happened to the man. I think I was building the stairs that you'll see me doing later, and I... <laughs> Wait, he's right. He's back. I hope you didn't hear the sound of my dog just shaking. Um, don't know what happened to the man. I think he got chased by a zombie, and I kind of watched, but... Don't know if he died or just kind of drifted away. Anyway, still working on the exterior. It's basically like a nice little, um, I don't know what to call this. I don't think you can call it an aquarium because there's not glass to box the fish in. So is it kind of like a pond? I guess it's kind of like a pond. And I surrounded it by um, these leaves, which were, I, we're gonna call them hedges. They represent hedges, even though they're leaves. Wait, hedges are leaves, aren't they? Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that one. So, yeah, just prettying things up because I'm just too lazy to do interior work. And, yeah, and then I went to the top. I was really just avoiding doing the inside, you guys. I avoid my problems. Great procrastinator. Anyway, uh, yes, I did the top. I placed flowers. I made it pretty. Feeling good. Uh, the stairs, as you can see here. Uh, I actually had a lot of trouble with stairs. I'm... Um, with stairs. Am I good with stairs? Am I bad with stairs? I feel like by the time I finish making the stairs they look good, but in the process of making the stairs, I go through so many things. Like I, I do so many different things and it looks so bad many multiple times. Uh, but eventually, eventually I build something and I look at it and I go, that doesn't look like something I want to burn. And then we have stairs, um, which I'm working on right now. I paused for a long time there. Um, I will not edit that out. Why? I am very tired. I'm, I'm very tired. Um, this is gonna- this is not good, is it? Oh no. Uh, stairs. I don't know what else to say. Should I just let you guys listen to music or should I just keep rambling? Um, Man, now that I'm watching this, I am bad at placing slabs. Whew. Uh, okay, logs. So, uh, I thought the stairs looked super duper, um, unstable. I mean, you're not gonna find stairs just floating like that in the real world. Unless you do. And if you do, I'm very interested to see that. Um, but I put the logs to kind of look- make it look like the stairs were stable. And then I just kind of played around because I was still avoiding doing the exterior. Yeah, all of this, I mean, I was avoiding doing the interior. All of this exterior work was me avoiding doing interior work. This was this was all me being lazy, actually, if you think about it. Uh, this was all me being lazy-ish. And now we're on the inside. We did it. I shouldn't clap at myself, that's just sad. Uh, okay, I know I had water and fish underneath, literally underneath my house, but I still wanted more apparently. So here I am making an aquarium because I can. I also didn't know what else to put in the center of this huge room and I just know that when there's a big space, the easiest thing to do is just to put an aquarium there. Uh, fill it up with water. You can see me doing that now. That was... I kind of struggled filling this up with water. I don't know why, now that I think back on it. Water? Water in Minecraft is the weirdest thing. I mean, okay, this is coming from someone who really likes to make waterfalls when I do things in Minecraft. I just love waterfalls. Just, you know, chopping a hole in a cliff and putting a water bucket there. I mean, more than just that. But basically, waterfalls... Water is so hard in this. It, it, you put it, it, we're done talking about water because this has been way too long talking about water. <laughs> um, here I am just making the floor so that you don't fall into a hole when you enter the building. And basically the aquarium area ended up being like a little dip in the ground on the floor, a little dip on the floor. And I really don't know what else to say. How did I feel when I made this? How, how did I feel? I, well, I'm now making a ladder. 
Well, <laughs> I didn't have to tell you how I felt because we moved on really fast. I don't even know the timing of my own videos. Oh, guys, look, I'm doing interior work. I searched so many images. I was like, oh no, how do I, how do I build something inside a house? So I just kind of went online and, you know, the good old Google, the good old internet search engine helped me quite a bit. So this is basically the kitchen area. It'll look more kitcheny soon. I honestly, this was very sad. I made this and then later realized, wow, I like this, but um, I need to change the floor. So later you'll see me completely destroy this little kitchen area I made. Well, not the kitchen area, the kitchen table. I completely destroyed it, but I built it back. So we don't have to, we don't have to mourn the loss of that. Well, mourn the loss a little bit. Mourn the loss of my time. I lost a lot of time just not knowing, what am I looking for here? What am I, what? Oh, why did I take so long to find a sword? Wait, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Guys, I spun that a lot because um, every time I try to spin on the item frame, I don't know, I just get really click happy or something. And I spin it way more than I need to. I tell myself, okay, I'm gonna spin it so it faces exactly this way. And then I always click just one too much. And and then I have to re-click it all around to get it to face that way again. But then I spin it too much again. And it's a vicious cycle. But here we are, destroying the table like I told you I had to. And just making the floor. This floor also changes. I could not figure out what I wanted from this kitchen area for the longest time. But we got there eventually. Here I am, remaking the table. Apparently I can't remember what the word for table is today, uh, but we're not gonna talk about that. Don't mind that moment of silence. I actually am just drinking, so. Drinking, it's, it's a protein shake. You didn't need to know what I was drinking, but I told you what I was, so. Enjoy me building this floor while I also enjoy watching me build this floor and enjoy this drink. And now it's me building a wall, so keep enjoying. I've been contented. So I am still working on this wall. Uh, it shouldn't have taken me as long as it took for me to make a wall. I think, I think I was just so frazzled from trying to figure out how to make a floor that I was like, oh, how do I make a wall now? Oh no, oh no, a wall is like a floor, but uh, vertical and it's not. Wait, think about it. A wall is just a vertical floor that you can't walk on. Or is walking on it how you define it as a floor? We are learning interesting things today. This is why people should let me ramble more. This, this, this is why people should let me talk. Or, or this is why people should not let me talk. Um, here I am, just making... You know, I put a lot of water in this house. Honestly, when I don't know what to do, my when I don't know how to decorate or what I want to do to decorate, my first uh, thought is <laughs> water? I don't know why it's water, um, but I mean, it's pretty. I, I like water. I do enjoy some good water. That makes sense. We do need water to survive. And uh, oh, I made a little ledge. I put some flowers on it. These, these flowers, technically, in the real world, these flowers would die. Because in order to water these, you would need a very tall ladder. Unless these are fake flowers. I mean, they're not fake flowers. But if for some reason, in the real world, you had an olive-shaped mansion and you put flowers up there, I suggest you make them fake flowers. Because, yeah. 
Anyway, actually, this is about to be the end of the filming because I didn't get the rest of the building filmed because, let's be honest, I'm not technologically advanced. Things happened. Okay, we're done. Uh, now we're done. It's me. Yeah, I'm back. I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. I had no idea what I was doing, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, feel free to subscribe. You know, funsies. Okay, yeah. Uh, bye.